I'm Jolene Wynn, and this is the Porn Addicts Wife Podcast, episode number 212, Opting Out. If your husband is struggling with a pornography problem and you want some help with it and you are not finding the resources that you like, you are in the right place. My name is Jolene Wynn. I am a certified life coach. I am an active member of the LDS faith, and I am the wife of a former porn addict. And on this podcast, I am going to share with you the tools that you need in order to start your healing journey. This is where I'm going to show you how to dive deep into intentional living, how to rekindle connection with your spouse, how to manage all that emotional turmoil that you're feeling, how to break the addiction cycle that you have to your husband's addiction, and tell you all of the ways to do that and start healing. I am so glad that you're here and I can't wait to get started. Let's go. Hello, my ladies. How are you? I am so excited to be talking to you today. I just got back from a three week trip, a drive across the country. We drove with our children across the country to Utah and Idaho for my husband's family reunion and to spend time together. And it was so fun and it was such a blast to see everybody it was a very long drive and we're very glad to be home we were gone 22 days and we did drive the entire time and we are also a little bit old school so we do have a portable dvd player we just got an ipad this year <laughs> little side note this is actually funny this is how behind the times i am with technology is that i did not get my first smartphone until i was 23 and my mom gave it to me because <laughs> she said, you just had a grandbaby or you just had a baby. I want to be able to FaceTime my grandbaby. Here's this phone so that we can FaceTime. I was very anti-smartphone. And then we just got our very first iPad this year. So anyway, we don't do a lot of technology. It kind of started because I didn't want to get my kids hooked on technology when they were toddlers. And also I have some kids that get car sick, so I didn't want to deal with that. So we have just always been, you know, we bring toys and we read books and listen to music. It's just all very old school <laughs> and it was so fun. We played the license plate game. We are missing five license plates. So that was a little disappointing. If anybody lives in Hawaii and could send me a picture of their Hawaii license plate, I would really appreciate it. Um, but if you guys followed along on Instagram, we drove from North Carolina, which is where we're from, to Colorado and then Utah and Idaho and back to Idaho from Utah and then back again, stopping in Tennessee. And we just got home and it's just lovely to be home. And today is Father's Day. So I was like, happy Father's Day, Rob. <laughs> you get to be home and then tomorrow so the day that this is at releasing is actually rob's birthday so i am very excited he's turning 37 and I, if you guys could all come wish him a happy birthday on instagram i will show him all of the messages um so you can just go follow me at jolene win coaching because i just feel like we all owe him so much right i mean what a wonderful man for me to be doing this for him to be so supportive he was the one that pushed me to do this in the first place and i think we can all say that we're all really grateful for him so again go to my web uh, or go to instagram at jolene Wynn coaching and let's wish rob a happy birthday i'll share all the messages okay a few things first ladies before we dive in i know and today's gonna be really good so a few things first the calendar a few things i just want to let you guys know of for those of you who are coaches or entrepreneurs i am doing a free four-day workshop next week i am so excited about this so we are always facing problems as entrepreneurs in our business and that's what i want to focus on whatever problem you're having right now in your business maybe it's you don't know what to charge maybe it's that you feel like you want to start a side hustle but you are feeling hesitant about it whatever it is if you're feeling insecure if you're feeling stuck in your business come to this go to jolenewin.com you can go in there is a tab that says business workshop and you can go click on that register and again that's next monday through thursday so the 24th to the 27th at noon eastern standard time every single day we i have a very simple process that i've created for how to solve any problem in your business and i'm actually going to workshop style this which means every single day we're going to go through a part of this process and i'm going to do this with you so you bring what is you're facing and we're actually going to work through it 
over these four days. I'm really excited about it. It is totally free. Again, next Monday through Thursday, go to my website, jolenewin.com, go to the business workshop tab, and you can register for free. And I can't wait to see you there. Also, I started a business Instagram. So it's at go forward business. Okay, again, at Go Forward Business. That's my Instagram. And I'm gonna be starting to post a lot more of business stuff there because I am launching a new business program in July and I can't wait to tell you about it. So you can go over there and you'll be hearing a lot more about it. But that way, those of you who aren't business people don't have to keep hearing about it, okay? All right, the second thing that I wanted to let you guys know is that this week I am opening up my in-person for the third annual in-person retreat it is going to be october so every year if you guys don't know i do an in-person retreat for three days and it is by far the most fun thing that we ever get to do and i would love to see you there it's open if you're a client or if you're not a client and this year it's going to be october 17th to the 20th and it's going to be in oak island north carolina so make sure you guys are on my email list because this is going to be opening up this week to my clients it always opens up to them first and we have a very limited number of spots and they always fill up it's going to be 15 to 20 spots this year and I cannot wait to take all of you there. It is going to be the emotional reset that you've been waiting for. So if you have been thinking about coming, make sure you're on my email list so that you are the very first to know when this opens up for everyone who's not a client. And if you want first dibs, then come join my program and you will be able to join this week. You'll also get a massive discount on the price of the retreat. So if you like to save money and you don't wanna miss out, come join my program today and you'll be able to get in. All right, ladies, let's dive in. I actually had a completely different podcast already recorded and ready to go and pre-recorded. I recorded it before we even left on our trip, but as I was going through everything on our trip over the last three weeks, first of all, I just missed you, okay? I know the podcast episodes have still been coming out, but I miss talking to you. And so... I wanted to do this and this is what's been coming up. I just was like, no, that wasn't my favorite episode. I want to re-record it. So that's what I'm doing at nine o'clock at night. We just got home a few hours ago and I wanted to talk to you about opting out. And this came to me because I got a text over the weekend. I think it was over Memorial Day, which we were gone for. And I got a text from a shop from some, I don't even know what it was, some website, some online shop. And I love to online shop, but I got a text from the shop and immediately I was annoyed. That was the emotion that I felt. I just felt super annoyed. Has that ever happened to you, right? Especially on holidays like Memorial Day where everyone is running a sale or a special and it just goes ding, ding, ding. And you're just like, oh my gosh, I just keep getting texts from all of these shops. Oh, they keep texting me. And then I was looking at this text because I opened it so that it wasn't, you know, always just showing me that I had an unread text message because that was even more annoying. And I read through the promotion, whatever shop it was, which I don't even remember. And at the very bottom, it said, text the word stop to opt out. And all of a sudden, it was so profound to me that this is exactly what we can do with our brains. Okay, so I want you guys to think for a moment about what you've opted into, because here's the thing. At some point, whatever is bugging you in your life right now, at some point you opted in. You opted in to anxiety. You opted in to paranoia. You opted in to worry, to pain, to discomfort, to self-loathing. At some point, you opted in to each one of the things. The thing that's annoying you every time it pops up, you opt in it at some point. The thoughts that bug you every time you look in the mirror. The worry or anxiety that you feel every time your husband looks at his phone. The anxiousness that you feel when you think about going to the beach with your spouse. The discomfort that you feel when your husband reaches and touches your stomach, the worry that you think and that you feel in your body every time you are having intimacy with your spouse and you're wondering what he's thinking, whatever it is that is bothering you in your life, at some point you opted in. So it's like your brain keeps texting you occasionally, sometimes more often than others, It's just going to start pinging you, ding, ding. Your brain is texting you because you opted in 
to receive notifications of this thing. You opted into receiving notifications of this belief, of this um, emotion, of this thought. And it keeps reminding you that it's there. It keeps asking you if you want to pay attention to it. Does this make sense? And every time it happens, we have a few options. But what we don't do, most of the time what we do is we don't pay attention enough to change it consciously. So what we do is we keep getting pinged. We keep getting a ding. We keep getting notified from our brain that this is happening. It keeps just texting us, letting us know that it's there. And most of the time we just get annoyed by it or we think it's inevitable and we hate it most of the time, which is all just resistance. We hate that we keep getting anxious, hate that you keep feeling uncomfortable during sex, hate that you keep feeling worry every time he is talking to a coworker, right? We hate that this is happening. We hate the way that we think about our body when we sit down and our belly rolls over our jeans. We hate how we feel around someone, a woman who is what we think more attractive or our husband's type, okay? These are all the things that we don't like. And yet we are the ones in charge of whether or not we receive this notification. And that's what we have forgotten. Most of us think that our brain is just sending these to us and we just have to live with it. We just have to be annoyed. We just have to hate it. It's just how life is because our husband is watching pornography. And ladies, it's not true. The truth is, is that you can opt out. Just like when you receive a text message and it says, if you wanna stop receiving notifications from this, you can just text the word stop and opt out. And it's so simple when you're receiving a text message, but it's also that simple in your brain. Now, is it easy? No, but is it simple and doable? Yes, it is a simple process that you can learn. All it takes is learning how to manage your mind and process your emotions. Those are very simple things to do. Now, do you know how to do them? Are they difficult if you don't know how? A hundred percent. Are they much harder if you don't have someone helping you, like a coach who can help you figure out the patterns that keep notifying you and sending you these annoying text messages? Yes, it is much harder to do it on your own, but can it be done? Absolutely. And can it be done so much easier and faster and more efficiently with a coach? Yes, okay, especially one who's done it before. But the process is going to be the same, okay? So if you are receiving these notifications, let's number one today talk about how do I know if I've opted into something that I don't want? And first of all, the way that you're going to start noticing this, the way that you're going to know what these are is if you just start giving your brain the um, job of being aware. Okay. And it sounds so simple, but literally even just listening to this podcast is going to make you more aware of it. I actually had, I had a client last week on my coaching call on one of the coaching calls. We do several a week. And one of, and on one of the calls she came and she said, Oh my gosh, Jolene, I didn't even know how much resentment I had until I listened to your podcast today. (laughs) So last week's call, last week's podcast episode was how to heal resentment. And she had even been to the masterclass. She had done my how to heal resentment masterclass, but that had been where she was focusing all about her husband. And she was like, I totally got so far in that. And I healed so much of it. And then I listened to this podcast today. And all of a sudden I realized I had so much more for so many other people and things in my life. And I was like, yes, and this is beautiful because now we get to change it. It doesn't doesn't just have to live under the surface. And sometimes that's all it takes. Sometimes even just listening to this podcast, your brain will all of a sudden start giving you, oh my gosh, I have opted into this and this and this and this, okay? So if that's you, awesome. If it's not you, then what I want you to do is give your brain the job and just say, okay, my job for the next couple of days is going to just be to start noticing where I get annoyed, where I get frustrated with my own thoughts, feelings, and reactions, okay? And what are your quote unquote triggers, okay? That will be another indication of something that you've opted into. The truth is, is that anything is everything that you have in your life, a thought, a feeling, a reaction, every single one of those things is something that you opted into at one point. And then your brain is just running that pattern on repeat. So if you want to change it, now is the time. And this is beautiful because all of those things are things that you can control. You can control your thoughts, you can control your feelings, 
you can control your reactions. And that is why this is so powerful and so exciting because it means that the things that you've opted into before don't have to be the things that continue. Just because you opted into it at one point doesn't mean you have to keep it. There's a little tiny text at the bottom that says, if you want to do something about this, if you want to stop receiving notifications, you can. Just text the word stop and you'll stop receiving notifications. That's what's going on in your brain. Okay, your brain is giving you these thoughts. It's running these patterns to keep these thoughts and feelings and actions going in a pattern that you at one point opted into. And at the very bottom, every single time this happens, there's the little fine print that says, if you want to stop this at any point, you can. You just have to do it consciously. And that process looks like step number one, awareness, which is what we're working on right now. Step number two, acceptance, not judging yourself for what comes up, which is where a lot of us go wrong. Self-judgment keeps us stuck. Okay. We cannot move forward if we're judging ourselves for what we've seen, if we're judging ourselves for how we're responding to our husband, how much resentment we're holding, how we feel about our body and our faith and our friends and all of those things. Okay. When we judge ourselves for them and we think, oh, I shouldn't feel this way. It's so terrible that I feel this way. I hate that I feel this way. That's all resistance. So step number one is awareness. Step number two is acceptance, allowing it, being okay with it. Step number three, processing the emotion that comes up. Again, this is a skill. This is not a trick. This is not just thinking your way out of your feelings. This is literally learning a physical skill of processing your emotions. Step number four is choosing a new thought, choosing a new pattern on purpose that you want to create. And step number five is retraining your brain. Rinse and repeat that new thought, which always comes with becoming aware if it's not working, becoming aware if the old thought wants to come up, accepting that there's nothing that's gone wrong, processing any emotion that still needs to be there, and then continually trying to get your brain to the new thought, the new pattern. You are literally creating new neural pathways in your brain, and that is the process. Five steps, very simple. Is it simple? Yes. Easy? No. Doable? Absolutely. Okay? So I want you guys to just start noticing this week. I want to offer that you can just start giving your brain the job of noticing what you've opted into. And that can be a fascinating thought download to do. It's just on a piece of paper. What have I opted into emotionally regarding my husband's pornography problem? What have I opted into emotionally regarding my body image? What have I opted into? What are my thoughts about my husband? and his behavior? What are my thoughts about him relapsing? What are my thoughts about any number of topics? And every single thought and feeling and action that you write down is something that you've opted into. But the best news that I can give you is that you are the one that opted into it. So that means that you can opt out. So ladies, if there is something you want to opt out of, whether that's a thought, a feeling, a reaction, an action that you're taking or not taking, then now is the time to change it. A little side note, which I wasn't going to share, but I shared this on Instagram and and in an email, I think over the course of the last three weeks while we were gone, I just kept getting the same message over and over and over. We had an unexpected passing in, in my husband's family. His aunt passed away. I spent time with a 90 year old grandma. I spent time with 86 year old grandparents. I spent time with a man who his wife just turned 49. And he just brought in hospice because she has early onset Alzheimer's and she's not expected to live very long and even more experiences than that. And I just kept getting the same message over and over and over and over, which is we don't have much time. And I don't mean that in a morbid way. I don't mean that in a doom and gloom way. I mean, now is the time to take action. And I know ladies, because I am in it, that when you are running your life and your kids and you have a million things to do, you get lost in your schedule and the day to day. And these are the things, death or big circumstantial shifts are typically the things that slow us down, the things that make us redirect our thoughts to where our true priorities lie. But I want to offer that you start doing that on purpose and stop waiting for circumstances to make you do it. Okay. Because time is the one thing we never get back and we aren't guaranteed 
anything but right then, right now, anything but this moment. And again, I don't mean that in a doom and gloom way. I mean, now is the time to do all the things. This is your life. This is your opportunity to become the person that you want to be. And we keep thinking that we'll have time later when the kids are out of the house, when they're out of diapers, when we're not paying for the third vehicle, when, you know, our husband gets that new job or when we finally pay off this one debt. That's when we'll start living the way that we want to live, when we'll start focusing on ourselves, all of the things. And ladies, I'm telling you that time will never come because Every single time you pick that thing, that thing comes and then you just pick a new one because it's your brain waiting for circumstances to shift before you start taking control of your life. And ladies, that is not what life is about. Life is not about waiting. Life is about living. And I want to invite you to live on purpose. Live intentionally. Start today intentionally taking action toward the person that you want to become because that is how you're going to get to the end of your life, whether it's a year from now or a hundred years from now, and be completely satisfied with the way that you lived it. That's what I want for you, ladies. That's what's available to you. And that is what happens when you start opting out of things intentionally and opting in to things intentionally. I love you ladies so much. If you want help with all of this, come work with me. I will show you the way and be with you every step so that you don't have to do it by yourself. This is your life. It's time to go forward. I'll see you guys next week on a brand new episode. I love you. I'll see you next week. Take care. All right, ladies, if you enjoyed this podcast, then I want to invite you to come join my coaching program. This is where we take everything on the podcast. We actually get to apply it in order to transform your life. And I know that that is a big promise, but it's a hundred percent true. On the podcast, it's like learning how to ride a bike. It's like reading a book, an instruction manual via audio on how to ride a bike. And my coaching program is where you actually ride the bike. And that is what creates the transformation. This is what actually enables you to go from point A to point B, to actually create the transformation that you are seeking. If you are feeling stuck, if you are feeling like you are loving everything, but you just can't see the end from where you are now, then I want to help you. Come work with me one-on-one. I have a lifetime access program, which means it doesn't expire. You come work with me. I will help you every step of the way and work with you personally to make sure that you get where you want to go. I can't wait to see you there. Head to my website today, jolenewin.com and sign up.